Yavon, the Greeks were the greatest in Chochmah. Chochmah Bagoyim Tami, the Chazal that says that the Greeks have the Chochmah, they are the epitome of the Chochmah, the Goyim, what they have. They had the mathematicians, they had the scientists, they had the philosophers. But they didn't have Torah. The Sperm say that the letter Yud, the Yud, and the name of Yud Kevavke represents Chochmah, symbolizes Chochmah, which means wisdom. The nation Yavon, if you look at the letters of Yavon, it's a Yud, which means they have Chochmah. A lofty Chachma, because the Yud is high up. And yet, you take a Yud, you make it lower. Stretch the Yud a little bit further down, it becomes a Vav. Stretch it Vav a little further down, it becomes a Nun. The wisdom of Yavon was to take the Chachma and bring it down, bring it down to the earth, to the earth and underneath the earth, like the Nun. To the Nun Share Tuma. That's what Yavin was. It was all about a adoration of the goof, of the body, of the muscle. And what is it? How far can you push the body? And that makes you into a hero. Ezehu Giber HaKoyvish is Yitzroy. Who's the Giber if you can conquer your Yitzhahara to fix a Mida? To hold your Kaas? That's called Gevura with Torah. That is the Gevura of the spirit. Not of the goof. We carry the torch too. That's our torch of Yaakov Avinu and the torch of Tyra. <laughs>